Okay. Well, thanks again for joining me this morning. Um, I'm on the Pacific time zone, so um, you're a little bit ahead of me. My name is Amanda Medic. I've been with um, Equity or Sharper Agent for the last seven years, and I am um, excited to introduce you to um, the Sharper Agent product and all that it has to offer. Um, you're going to find how to log in and how to sign up for your free trial. We do offer Equity a 60-day free trial, so if you um, have already signed up for your 30-day free trial, um, I'm going to show you my information. Personally, reach out to me, and I'll, I'll manually add another credit in there so you get another 30 days free. Um, but you're going to go to sharperagent.com forward slash equity. Um, this RE is not needed. It will kind of auto-populate if need be. And then again, you can find more information about the e-newsletter and email marketing, home tours, print marketing campaigns, or lead capture. But I'm going to go ahead and log in as myself. And it's going to launch me right into the Sharper Agent product. So it lands you on the Today screen right away. And this is very much like if you have a Yahoo or an MSN and you, and you uh, launch right into or you open up a browser, it's going to bring you straight to that page. But I'm going to go ahead and start on the My Profile. So the tabs on the left-hand side are going to guide you throughout all the features and functionalities of the program. So we started this program about 13 years ago, and it was come up with by an agent and um, actually a title rep. So um, the title rep was trying to help the agent market, and it was kind of in a volatile time where the internet was just getting started. I think um, AOL was the biggest email provider. Um, Dial-up was still available. So um, we've definitely done a number of enhancements since that time. Um, but what we created was we wanted to create something effective and efficient for agents to nurture and to market to their sphere. So um, we came up with this idea where we would create this platform where you can create one postcard, for example. You can email that postcard. You can web post that same postcard. So you could post it on social media or on Craigslist or um, any kind of web-based platform. And then you can also email, or I already said email, you can also self-print these, so you can open a PDF and take it to your local printer, or you can print it straight from your desk, and then you can also professionally print these. We're completely integrated with Shutterfly, so you can have those um, sent to Shutterfly, sent back to yourself. You can have them sent to Shutterfly, add a mailing list, and we'll address and postage them and send them directly out. So you can really um, work with Shutterfly as you'd like. And again, we're completely integrated, which offers um, not only a great discount, but great quality within our printed pieces as well. So like I said previously, um, the tabs on the left-hand side are going to guide us throughout all the features and functionalities. I always start with the My Profile tab because you often don't have to go in here, but it's so important because all of this information pulls on all of your pieces. So my agent photo, make sure that it's something professional. It's, um, so when I first started, I was actually in the print department, and we actually look at every piece that you send in to us um, for quality. We do a bit of a quality check before. And um, the photos that came across my desk were hilarious. <laughs> so I always recommend that you um, have something very professional. This is probably one of the biggest purchases people are going to make in their life. Um, so I'm sure that they'd prefer to work with somebody that's knowledgeable and, and professional. Um, logo is going to automatically appear. We do have a couple of different logos already loaded in there for equity. So you can click change image and go through the library, or you can simply upload your own. Um, and again, all of this information must be correct. So make sure that your name is spelled correctly, your title, um, any designations that you may have, company, phone number one will always appear. Phone number two um, will appear on most things, but not all things. And I'm just going to put my number in here real quick so that you have it. I actually am the only remote employee, so um, that's my mobile if you want to call or text me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, make sure that capitalization exists where capitalization should. So um, Sharper Agent looks a lot better and more readable if I have a capital S and a capital A. Same with my website. Um, and then make sure you have a great call to action. So a great call to action is why we should contact you in two, two ways how. So thinking of selling, 
call or text me today. Um, ready to buy? Call or email me today. Tired of paying rent? Text or email me today. So two ways how they should con or how they can contact you and why they should contact you is usually a great call to action. So you'll also notice that these little boxes are checked. So you're already going to have the unbranded disclaimer, the realtor logo, and the equal housing logo um, pull into each um, into each piece automatically. You don't need to worry about that. It's already on there, and you don't need to manually add it. Now, is anyone using social media out there? You can also raise your hand on the little, the little screen. Um, if you are using social media, I definitely suggest that you use Facebook. I love it. Thanks, Jim and Kim. Um, you use Facebook. It has the most overall users and pages seen per day. So um, definitely would get a Facebook business page if you're not already using that. You can enter other social medias as well, so Twitter, LinkedIn, or YouTube. You simply click on the URL in your profile, and then you're going to bring that over here and paste it in here. And now at, at the bottom, oh, sorry. Now when you send out any electronic piece like an email, at the bottom is going to be the logo, and it's going to automatically be hyperlinked to what you put into that space. So um, definitely take advantage of that. It usually generates quite a few followers. Cool. So just, just to reiterate, very important that all of this information is correct because, again, it automatically pulls on all of your pieces. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Profile. And then we're going to get into kind of the rest of the system. So today we're going to go over the contact management system. So overall what Sharp Region is, is it's a contact management system that's connected to over 4,000 pieces. A number of these pieces are custom that I've worked directly with your corporate team in putting in here. Um, and then with those 4,000 pieces, you can distribute them through the channels that I had previously mentioned. And then we have automation as well. So you've probably heard the buzzwords um, trigger marketing or drip marketing. We have over 55 campaigns that you can use. And then we have some custom campaigns that you can use as well. And then we'll finish up with the e-newsletter, which is my favorite thing and which I use as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the context management. So how many of you are brand new and have nobody in your contact manager? You can raise that little hand. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, present this as if I was brand new and I was just starting to put people in. Um, but if, if you need help cleaning up your contact management system, I would be more than happy to help. I've been doing it for about seven years, so I think I know what I'm doing. So um, you can definitely import your contacts. And it um, would appear to me that in most people's lives, they have multiple places where they are um, they're storing their contacts. So I have some in my Outlook, I have some in my LinkedIn, I have some in my Gmail, so on and so forth. So we really want you to be strategic and, in who you're putting into your system and group them. So remember when we were so excited that we got our smartphone and, you know, your iPhone and everything connected and synced, and then you hit contacts and your whole contact list is like a mess. So there's, there's duplicates and there's, you know, email addresses that aren't connected with names and it was just kind of a scramble. So we don't want that to happen. We're not going to sync with anything. We actually took our sync button out um, for a value add for you. So... Um, what we would do is you can go ahead in here, and what I would start with is I first want to understand the landscape. Okay, what groups do I want to put into my system? So um, maybe your first-time home buyers, maybe your buyers, maybe your hot buyers, um, maybe a specific um, farm that you're farming, maybe your renters. Um, so really be strategic and start with the basis, that foundation of, okay, what is a great um, group to add. And one that everyone should have is your sphere of influence. Everyone has friends and family. Well, I'm hoping everyone has friends and family. Um, so they are definitely one group to nurture and a great group to gain referrals from. So you can add those, you can edit any of these, or you can delete them. So this is a test account, so they're all kind of all over the place. Um, so after you put in the groups that you'd like to import into, what I would do next is I would go to my import contacts. 
Now, these are the sources that we've already researched for you and given you step-by-step -step instructions on how to export and also how to import. Most of us are going to be using that Microsoft Excel option. But some of us or a lot of us will also be using that Gmail. So I have a spreadsheet example of one that I am just going to pop up. So it should look like this. So this spreadsheet, you'll notice, has a header row. So it has first name, last name, title, company, email. And then we want to make sure that everything, obviously, is in the correct column. But you'll notice that this title, um, this title column is a bit different. So I like to use, especially if there's a number of different groups then I'm importing into the system with this big spreadsheet, I like to use this title column as my groups column. So um, put what groups they actually are involved in. So John Smith here is my sphere of influence and he's a friend. Sally is a first time home buyer. TT is a, is a um, sphere of influence, first time home buyer. And again, it's what your niche is. Where, where are you going to market and what would be valuable to separate people out in? So um, I like to use this, this column as my groups column. All right. And a thing about importing into our system, you have to have a first last name and then you also have to have at least an email or at least um, a physical mail address. And just for that reason is, um, how, why is it going to be important if you have Amanda Smith's name in there and you have no information on how to contact her? So um, we've kind of taken that out of the way for you. So once you have your spreadsheet, you want to do a file, save as. I'm going to save this on my desktop. And then you're going to make sure that you want to save it as a CSV comma delimited file. And what that file is, is it's basically just wiping out any kind of formulas that could exist in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. I obviously already have this saved. And then you're going to get this pop-up that says you might have some information that's lost. You want to keep this format. Don't worry, nothing is going to be lost. Just click Yes. And then I'm going to go back to my system. Pull this guy up here. And now I can go into the Microsoft Excel option. It's going to tell me exactly the same thing we just did. Save it as that CSV. I'm going to click Next. I don't want to add it to a group right away because this is multiple groups, right? But if you, were, if you have a list of, you know, maybe a farmed area, go ahead and add a new group, put them in there right away. So farm1234 Glenwood. You're going to choose your file. Our file did have a header row. And then you're also going to agree that you're not going to spam. So we're not your constant contact. We're not going to be your MailChimp. Uh, we're going to have a higher inbox ratio, so uh, we're very spam compliant. We, we have uh, made major improvements over um, the years to ensure that. So making sure that we're not spamming, we're just going to map our files or map our fields, make sure that first name matches with first name, last name with last name, and then the system is going to do a duplicate check for you and making sure that you're only getting that single record in there. And once your contacts are in here, they're going to appear in this big list, so under the Contacts tab. So I can click on these or I can check on these. When I check boxes, I'm working with multiple contacts, and you'll notice on the right-hand side I have all of these actions. So I can send them a marketing email, which is going to be an embedded email. There's no creepy links to click on or <clears throat> attachments to open. I can send a text email, very, very basic stationary email. Um, add a note, important date, schedule a meeting, a phone call, a task. I can print letters, labels, or envelopes. I can print contact information. I can download contacts, same as exporting. Your, your contacts are yours. They're never stuck in the system. Save a mailing list, delete contacts, add this to a group, or add them to a campaign. Now, similarly, I'm just going to go ahead and use somebody here. If I click on a name, I'm working with just that that. Um, that specific consumer. So I have Kim Olson here. He is in my um, equity agents groups. It looks like I have a note up here so I can view any notes. I can view any emails that I've sent them, tasks, meetings, calls, important dates. Um, cool thing about viewing the emails, I can see exactly what I sent to them, what time I sent to them on the date, 
Now, if I click this hyperlink of the date sent, it's going to tell me if he's opened it or not. So it doesn't look like Kim has opened it yet, but I can view this group email report and see how many people opened it and at what time they've opened it. So you'll notice that right away we have a great open rate. Um, looks like I sent to 1,010 people. So if you notice that Karen here is opening your email at about 1 p.m. every time you send it, isn't that a great indicator of when she's online, when she's probably looking at real estate, when she's checking her email? So I would definitely take that into, in, to, into consideration, um, especially those hot buyers, and um, schedule a meeting with them or schedule a phone call or schedule um, you know, a Facebook upload to their page at that specific time because you know that they're online. So working with Kim here again, you'll notice actions on the right-hand side are very similar to working with multiple contacts, but I have this edit contact details right here. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I can enter any additional information I have on Kim, but I can enter personal information and consumer information. So personal information, I can enter a birth date in here. Consumer information, I can enter the date that they um, purchased their home. These are great to have in the system because you can set up an automated campaign for the next five years and they'll either receive a physical piece in the mail, so a folded greeting card or a postcard, or they'll receive an email on that date. So a great way to stay in touch with your past clients and your sphere of influence. So I recommend spending your marketing dollars on prospecting, getting leads, right, getting new clients. Um, but these are two pieces that I definitely suggest sending out in the mail as well. So um, they are, it, it is definitely a nurturing um, path, but definitely would uh, spend a dollar or two on these a year. So I can also add additional information in here, second like contact, additional phone numbers, email addresses, mailing addresses, but I can also group them here too. So I can add them to multiple groups. So maybe um, they're um, in my equity agents and they're also in my recruiting. So I'm, I'm trying to recruit this person as well. Same with interest. So I always use the example of yoga because I am a yoga instructor, but that opens my sphere up so much. So not only my students, but other teachers or instructors that I work with, management, other studios, anybody that I ever meet that has the same kind of interest as me, you might as well put it in there. You might come across you know, a yoga journal um, article or some kind of piece, and then you can simply just add, check on that and um, add it to an email right away and get it sent off. Cool, so at the bottom here is preferences. So, Definitely, like I said, we're very spam compliant, and your consumer has the option to unsubscribe from you at the bottom of every page. Um, so if they do, you'll get a notification to the email that exists in your profile, and then this box will automatically uncheck. Their contact record will still exist within the system, yet they'll simply just drop off from any, um, any group or any kind of um, campaign or email list if, if need be. Cool, so do we have any questions so far? You can type them in the chat box. Everyone's on the same page? Okay, great. <clears throat> so we've, we've seen how to work with contacts, how to work with multiple contacts. We've got them imported in there, we've got them grouped. Um, <clears throat> now, what I would like to show you is to add a contact. So you can add contacts manually, so if you're still using something that's paper-based, you can start to add those in here manually. Um, I always suggest or recommend that if you're at an open house, just bring your laptop, bring your iPad, and have this screen open. And while people are walking through, you can just collect data right here. So a lot of people don't have business cards, and this is a great way to kind of understand those people and a great way to add them to um, automated campaigns and stay in touch with them right away. You can also see who's referring you under email tools, so you can see who's forwarding your emails. So it looks like this email was forwarded to these people. Uh, they're forwarded on this date. <clears throat> they were both opened. This person converted, yet this person did not. So I can see the new contact. Their contact information will automatically be added to the contact manager. And if it was a continuous piece like the e-newsletter or an ongoing campaign, 
they'll automatically be added to that to continue to receive information as well. All right, so is anyone using purchase mailing lists? Is anyone doing any direct mail prospecting? I want you to know that direct mail is definitely not dead. Um, you just need to be more more um, strategic and, and uh, more directed with your direct mail. Directed with your direct mail. Um, so you can purchase mailing lists. We're completely integrated with Info USA, and their entire company is built off collecting information. So the little marketing crumbs that you leave behind. So um, you know when you're on uh, like Zappos.com, and then you go over to Facebook, and Zappos is on um, as an advert. That's a formula that they've created and that we've collected that data that, that you as a specific person like those items. Or if you went to Comic-Con or if you purchased tickets to a concert, um, those are all little marketing crumbs that you're leaving and InfoUSA is collecting. So um, eight cents per contact once you purchase the list, it's yours for life. So you buy 100 contacts in your neighborhood or in a neighborhood you just sold a home. Um, it's, it's eight bucks. You can continue to market them. So I always use rent versus buy because this list literally knows, never goes bad because people are always moving in and out of these places. So I can search by an address like I said earlier. So if you just hold a home in two days in this specific area, you can send you know, to the point one radius out to 150 mile radius. Um, simply put that address in there and then we'll click next. But I'm going to use a zip code. So I just moved, so I, I'm not quite familiar with, with where I'm at right now. So I'm going to use my Colorado zip code when I was in Denver, which was a, um, a pretty highly rented area, but also had a lot of condominiums in it. So um, 80204 is right downtown. It's the Golden Triangle. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. So um, on average, those who are renting, making $60,000 or more, are going to be the best bet for our first-time home buyers. So estimated income, I'm just going to choose those two. But you'll notice I have a number of different options that I can choose from. So estimated home value, so if I wanted to do a thinking of selling campaign to my, you know, a neighborhood that homes are worth $600,000 or more, I can choose that. Length of residence, so um, I would probably do if they've been living in their house for five to seven years, I'd choose that if that was the niche I'd like to go into. But then you'll notice that we have these advanced searches as well. So age range, those people maybe are empty nesters and looking to uh, move to a luxury condominium downtown. Maybe first, um, sorry, single female home buyer, which is huge in Denver right now. And then you'll notice you can have a lifestyle data. So like I said, those people that had purchased maybe a nonfiction book on Amazon, um, we've been collecting that data and, and collecting all of that information. So you can click Next. It's going to search. It looks like I have 71 results of people making 60 grand or more in that specific zip code. Now I could purchase all of these, or I can enter as many as I'd like. All right, you guys are quite quiet out there. Any questions? Before we move on, you can type them in the chat box. All right, let's do this. So marketing materials, like I said, you have over 4,000 marketing materials in here. Um, a number of them are custom as well. So I can click on custom. 70 custom pieces in here for you. But then we've created this nice little neat library as well. So if I wanted to do a postcard and I know I wanted to do like a new agent announcement or I wanted to do, um, you know, purchase anniversary card, that first one, home and garden, food and entertainment, any seasonal. Um, if I wanted to do targeted marketing, maybe a market analysis offer, why choose me, thinking of selling, so on and so forth, I can choose from all of those. And then obviously we have a plethora of just listed, just sold postcards, same with flyers. We have newsletters, home buyer, home seller guides, e-greetings, um, greeting postcards, folded greeting cards, sports schedules, text email templates, Spanish content, and even marketing in motion. So I'm going to go ahead and click on just listed here, and I'm just going to choose a card. I can choose either um, out of three sizes, so panoramic, panoramic jumbo or regular. 
I'm going to go ahead and choose this one and click Create Edit and launch myself into the editor. So very easy to use editor. Anything that I click on, I can edit. So I clicked on this image. Um, I'm going to have the options in this nice little neat library down here. So I can replace this image. I can crop it. I can link it, hyperlink it, or I can delete it. Same with text. I'm going to have this nice little library. I can change the fonts, the font size, bold, italicize, underline. And then you'll notice I have these three little dots over here that's going to extend my menu and give me even more options on how I'd like to work with that text. And you'll notice that all of this information, my name and my phone number and my logo, automatically pulled from the profile. So that's why it's so important that all of this information is correct because we want to make it as easy as possible for you. At the top here, you'll notice that we, I can stylize this any way that I'd like. So I can change the shape. Maybe I didn't like this pink over here. I wanted it to be white. I can just open this up, drag and extend. Put that in the back here. So really stylize it however I'd like, completely customize however I'd like. I can add a map. So maybe I want to do um, a Google map of where this place is. I can change the map type. So if I want it to be aerial, if I wanted to zoom in all the way, I can do that. If I wanted to hyperlink this to maybe directions on how to get there, I can definitely do that. Or I can simply delete it as well. Same with article, I can add a text box, I can add an image. Cool, very easy to use. Um, if you'll notice on the right hand side here, there's this nice little carousel. If I go to the right, this is what is gonna, it's gonna look like if I professionally print or if I self print. So again, all of this information automatically pulled from my profile. Same with your email header. So um, this is what it's gonna look like if I email it out. You'll notice that this looks a little um, smushed here, so I'd probably just open up that text box so that it all fits in there. Great, are we all on the same page? No questions, no chats? You guys are on top of this. Okay, great, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. Not going to save it, but if I had, it would bring me directly back to my piece under my Saved Pieces tab. So now I can tell the system what I want to do with it. So um, I can, I'm just clicking on it. I can go in and preview it. I can go back in the editor. I can self print it and get a PDF. I can order printing. I can email. I can post it to a website. I can add a campaign or I can delete it. Cool. Any questions? All right. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and hop into the um, automated features to finish us up. So campaigns, so easy to use. You'll notice that I have a number of test ones here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and build a new campaign. And one thing that I forgot to mention, that if you get lost and it's like the weekend and we're not open, there's these video tutorials throughout the entire system. So um, each one is from anywhere from like two to eight minutes long. And it will literally step by step you through each process and really guide you on how to use that um, feature or functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and click Build a New Campaign. And here are all of the pre-built campaigns that we have created for you, or you can also build your own campaign. So again, we have custom campaign, we have repeat and referral, we have prospecting. This is where I suggest that you spend your marketing dollars, especially for those direct, direct mail. Recruiting, real estate and finance, purchase anniversary, birth date, newsletter, home and garden, food and entertaining. And then you can kind of see all of them. If you want to see any, any one specific, you can type it in the chat box and we can look at one specifically. These are a quiet group. All right, I will go ahead and just choose one. So. Um, going along with the example of the, the purchase mailing list that we bought, just bought, I probably do, um, you know, rent first buy. Click on this one. And then you'll notice at the top here, I can do all of these in email. I can do all of them in direct mail. Or where you're going to get the biggest return on investment is that multi-channel. So sending people information in a number of different ways. 
Expired listings, thank you, Kim. And you can also type in the question box as well, and I'll see those as well. Perfect, so let's go ahead and do expired listing. So again, I can do all email, all direct mail, or multi-channel. <clears throat> We've already put in the email subject, the delivery format, and when it's scheduled to go out. But you can definitely customize these if you'd like. We've even sprinkled in some activities. You can click on this and see it a little larger. Expired listing, there's more to selling a home than putting your listing on the MLS. My information automatically pulled, so I don't have to do anything here. And then I can simply go to next step, add my contacts, and then this is off and running. Or I can completely customize this as well. So customize an advanced setup button. I'm going to click on that guy. And then now I can add additional materials. I can add any saved pieces that I have. I can add any additional activity. I can get rid of some stuff. So if I don't want this phone call, I can just simply delete it. And then I can go down to the each individual piece. <clears throat> So this is going to be an interval campaign, meaning every time I add someone new, they're going to start with that first piece. I can change the delivery format, so maybe I want to change them all to email. I can change the email subject if I like. And then if I get to the end of the campaign, I can add additional pieces or activities as well. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and add remove contacts. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little. <clears throat> So here, on the left-hand side are all of my contacts. This is where groups come in and make your life so much easier because we were diligent in creating those groups as we started. So I can go ahead and click on uh, my expired listings or whatever group or, that we wanted to put in this campaign. Click Add Selected Contacts to my campaign. They're going to appear on the right-hand side. I save my campaign, and then this is off and running. So I, and then I can see, okay, it's an interval campaign. There's two activities, 11 emails, one direct mail. Right now it's inactive, but um, this one, next one's going out on this specific date, so you can see the delivery date and how many contacts are in that specific campaign. Another great thing about the campaigns is you can see insight. So I can um, go back in and make any changes, add or remove contacts, rename, duplicate, delete. But then we have these campaign reports as well. So I can see down to each individual piece how the health of that piece is doing. So if I'm sending this tax, this boring tax piece and nobody's ever opening it, why am I wasting my time and my energy sending that piece while I could send something a lot more valuable that people will um, actually pay attention to? And then you could see down to each individual contact as well. So if you have, you know, this hot buyers list and um, you notice that, Kim is opening your, your pieces every time and you haven't really spoken to her in a while, I think she would, that would be a great indicator of, of um, reaching out to her. You can also generate leads from these as well, like I had mentioned earlier. So, for example, our expired listings, I can do a campaign post. So I can post this button on my website. I can um, post this on Facebook or whatnot. And once I generate this, um, campaign web post and I post it on there. If people who sign up, they'll automatically be added to that campaign and continue to receive information as well. So any questions about campaigns? I really need to go through here and clean this up. All right, so let's last but not least, the e-newsletter. So I love the e-newsletter. If you do nothing else but add contacts today and um, set up your e-newsletter, you, um, you are well on your way to some easy and efficient marketing. So what the e-newsletter is, is it is four articles and one movie that we generate from Riz Media, the national real estate news source, every month. So um, the information is always going to be general enough to send to all of your clients, and it's always going to be up to date and current information. So again, if you just add contacts, new content will be in this every month. Um, your name and, and logo and all of your information will automatically pull. So this is what it's going to look like. You can add a custom greeting if you'd like. You can add a mail merge, so dear and then 
um, add the formula for the mail merge and um, it will automatically pull their first name. People are more apt to opening information with their name on it. And then you can write in a nice little um, custom greeting. Um, in the one that I do actually send out, because I do send this out every month, I um, usually include what's new and what we've enhanced, any new materials, um, any new uh, webinars or topics that we're discussing. Um, we just launched a new mobile app on the market leader side. And then I always include in there, like us on Facebook, and I hyperlink, um, I hyperlink a, um, a URL in there as well. But if you'd like, you can add listings on the right-hand side. You can add your own articles. You can add your own links. Um, so you can really customize this as you'd like. And then again, you can generate leads as well. So I could post a button on my website, sign up for my, my newsletter, and receive um, real estate information every month. You can post it on Facebook. You can add it to your Craigslist posting. You can really utilize this as, as you'd like. All right, so... I promised I would talk for about 45 minutes. We are on the question and answer section of our webinar. Um, did you want me to go and revisit anything? I know that this is a lot to take in over 45 minutes, especially when you first see it. Um, know that you can also use this for social media. So you can use the actual materials to put on your Facebook or your Twitter or your LinkedIn. So we can definitely do um, kind of a, a up level if you'd like or if you'd like to see any specific materials or have any questions, go ahead and type it in the question or the chat box and I'll see it. Yes, so Kim asked if this is recorded so that we can revisit it. Yes, it is being recorded as we speak. And Jim, it looks like you have a question. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you. I, I cannot find my chat box back. I've had a couple questions, <laughs> okay. and I cannot find it back. Please help me find that back. Um, you can actually just talk to me. What are your questions? Okay. My, the one question I had is I have my own personal logo, which are on my signs, along with equity. Can I upload my own logo in where the equity thing is and somehow or another fit equity in there as well? So you can do your own logo. You can utilize these two spaces. So if you have two logos that you're liking to use, I would put one in your profile. And then um, remember when we were in the, mar in the actual marketing material and you can add an image, you can simply add that image on the piece and drag and drop it wherever you'd like. And once you upload the image, it's going to remain in your um, image library. So you don't have to keep uploading it every time you put it on a piece. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any other questions? That was it. All right, great question. Anyone else questions or you'd like to revisit something? Um, Kim asked where she's going to find this recording later. Also an amazing question. So um, email me at amedic at sharperagent.com and I will send you a link to click on after I upload it to YouTube. So amedic, A-M-E-D-E-K, at sharperagent.com. Shoot me an email. And if you have signed up for your free trial and did not get that, um, that additional 30 days free, we only do that for equity, so um, I would definitely take advantage of that. But email me as well. And then... Um, if you need assistance right away, like uploading your contacts or setting up a campaign, our customer care team is amazing, and they, I've actually told them that we were on this webinar today, and they're standing by to answer any of your questions or assist you, and they can be reached at 866-614-9372. Great. Any other questions before we end our... I've never been on time before, so this is amazing. Um, so let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, we will end right at 9.45 or 10.45 your time. All right. Sounds like we are all set. Please do not hesitate to reach out. We'd be more than happy to assist you and, and help you with any of your marketing needs. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Thanks. Bye-bye.